Alright, let's, let's do it. Um, the setup is, I'm not going to, my, my story is a little bit longer than some of them, and uh, the setup is, my hairstylist set me up to, uh, on a blind date, very, very blind date. This was before, you know, you could go on and look at everybody's social media profile, so if you didn't know somebody who knew the person, then... You know, you just went out there and you were hopeful and tried to meet at a very public place. So he was an airline pilot, four stripes. She was very impressed by that. She was going to put us together. Oh, he's a nice guy. You're going to love him. We, we talked a little bit on the phone. He had one of those really nice Idris Elba kind of voices, you know, like the middle of thunder. So I was just like, oh, this is going to be nice. You know, he was entertaining. And if you made me laugh, that's just a, that's a weakness. And so... We set up a date to meet at the seafood restaurant, and I'm sitting there, and this was a few years ago. He was 30 minutes late, and I'm trying to decide, do I leave, do I stay, do I order, and just eat. So that's the setup for it. So he comes in. I had to put my glasses on. Let me go on and be the middle-aged lady here. He comes in, and oh boy is wearing first date, right? He's wearing a t-shirt, just a raggedy t-shirt, not even a, you know, at that time, FUBU or whatever t-shirt, just, just some old raggedy t-shirt he found in the drawer. Some shorts, those old coaching shorts, not cargo shorts, mm -hmm. and black socks, and some Stacey Adams shoes. I don't know why. I'm not <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. And so oh, wait a minute. Wait. wait. You got, you got, got to be You have to tell how you got fly for this day. Oh, Remember? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Before I had, a, and, and you don't even want to know what's up under here right now, but, you know, my hair was whipped, and I had gotten this beautiful outfit, you know, first day with the pilot, I want to, I want to be ready. Yeah, the, the and paint. And he's a pilot. A pilot, oh, the painful shoes, <laughs> and I had been on several days with, like, cross-eyed deacons and things, so I was like, finally, this is, this is. Hopefully he has a job. He didn't even have to be a pilot. He had a job, yeah. you know, a man working. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my yes. excerpt. Uh, so he can't. He comes in. He sits down. He's unapologetic. And I'm thinking to myself, uh, the temptations called. They want their shoes back. Ooh. I so Ooh. desperately wanted to say that he was smacking gum. As if he were being paid to annoy me. I wondered if I still had the receipts for my new dress and paying for new shoes. He asked me what I was having. I said, I'm having black and tilapia. He's lip reading the dessert menu, not even giving me eye contact. And I'll, I'll throw some dating tips out there in case anyone is, is listening. You might want to look at a person when they're talking to you and, and show interest in them. That's always nice. <laughs> right. And um, I call him Chocolate Charming. This is a true story uh, because that's how my beautician described him. So CC for short. He looked up. He said, have you had their tilapia before? He reached between his legs and appeared to be rearranging something. Mm. From what I'd seen of those shorts, that shouldn't take long, I thought. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I looked away. Uh, yes, it's good. You should try it. What is it with you black women that you want to try something wow. new? Do you order the same thing every time you come here? My neck whipped my head back before my ears were ready for the trip. <laughs> I felt dizzy. You black women? Did he really just say that to me? Where are the cameras? I had to be on an episode of What Would You Do? But no one was watching as far as I could tell. He unfolded his napkin, napkin and tucked one corner into the collar of his t-shirt. We stared each other down. He was waiting for me to go. So he didn't put he in his yes, yes. napkin. Oh, oh yeah, the height of charm in his raggedy t-shirt. So. He was waiting for me to go Miss Sophia from the color purple crazy on him. It was written all over his face. Breathe, I said to myself, just breathe. He is a human. Be nice. I unclenched my teeth to say, this date is something new. I felt certain he was testing me. And that's something I find with a lot of guys. It's like, will you pick up the check or will you yeah, put up with yeah, this yeah, or that? Yeah. I, mean, I, I already graduated. Yeah. I don't want to be tested. Right. Maybe this tactic worked with other women, but he was quickly losing altitude with me. Okay. I reached for my wine glass. Oh, it's almost empty. I gestured to, to the waiter to bring me another. At this point, I didn't care what CC did for a living or how good he was looking, despite his ridiculous attire, the only thing keeping me from running to the nearest exit was my hopeless optimism. Then he asked me, are you paying for that? 
Paying for what? Wow. You invited me to dinner. The wine. I don't drink. My mom is an alcoholic. Let me guess, that occurred after you were born, correct? <laughs> My second glass of wine arrived. I grabbed it from the waiter's hand and silently toasted to his poor mother. The waiter cleared his throat. Cece glared at me and ordered, she's having the blackened tilapia again, and I'll have the special with extra butter. Don't bring any, be any bread and put her wine on a separate tab. Just split the checks, please. What? I said. The waitress looked at me with a mixture of pity and pride. Mostly pity. I'll stop there. You guys have to pick the book up. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't hear the rest of it, but it got worse. Yeah, yeah I know.